warm up mastery of anything, whether it's martial arts or a craft or some type of trade, like a master painter, a master carpenter. Mastery means that you have at least three things. The first is knowledge. So master of the bow staff is somebody who has knowledge of all the different moves. And it doesn't have to be all of the moves because there are different levels of master. There's a first degree master, there's a second degree master, there's higher and higher levels of master. So you can master the basics. And that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. First, by having basic knowledge of the bow staff. You're gonna go from one hand to the other hand as we continue this warm up and we talk about what is a bow staff master. Now, bow staff master has to have knowledge of the basics for basic level mastery. That means the basic spins, the basic moves, blocks, and strikes. Throw in a kata or two, and then you'll be a master of the basics. So what is a bow staff master? Well, you're a bow staff master when you go through and you master the basics like this. After this side to side spin, put it in one hand, you're gonna go into a figure eight motion. That's just turning sideways, pushing down with your thumb. These are striking spins. After knowledge, a bow staff master has to have understanding. So knowledge is not enough. Knowledge is not enough in anything. When you go to school, they teach you a lot of things. You have to memorize them, but do you truly understand them? A lot of times you won't understand until you either teach somebody else or you start to experience or do that thing yourself. So a bow staff master has to have first knowledge, knowledge of these basic moves, you've got that. And then second, you have to have understanding. Why are you doing what you're doing? Why are you blocking? Why are you spinning? Spinning is to develop the proprioception of the body. Spinning develops coordination. Spinning develops hand and wrist strength. Spinning develops um, spatial awareness, timing and distance. So why do you spin? Why do you block? Well, you don't want to get hit, right? Stop them from hurting you. Why do you strike the way that you strike? Now you're going to go from side to side. When you take that, pinkies come together, palm faces the sky. But you have to develop understanding. And understanding comes when you apply the knowledge that you've learned. So what is a bow staff master? A bow staff master is you when you first learn, acquire the knowledge of the different moves, spinning and striking and blocking. And like I said, maybe a cotter or two, although I don't think those matter so much. And then second, what is a bow staff master? When you start to do the motion every single day and you develop understanding why you're doing what you're doing, what's going to happen when you do it, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. When you smack yourself in the back of the head, you're developing knowledge. Now you're gonna pull that in reverse. So what is a bow staff master? You are when you have knowledge and understanding, but you need at least one more piece of that to be a true master of the basics. And the true master of the basics understands, knows, but also has the skill or the ability. You can do the motion. And doing the motion is the most important part. That's 80%. Learn a little bit, understand a little bit, do a lot, spin a lot. You should learn one thing and then practice it over and over and over again until that knowledge becomes understanding and then transcends understanding into skill or ability. When you have true mastery of the basics of the bow staff, when you're a bow staff master, you have knowledge, you have understanding, and then finally you have the ability or the skill to move the staff through space and time, put it where you want it, to strike with speed, power, accuracy, balance, coordination, and be able to move your body in a way that you can stay safe from injury, whether you're training, teaching, or fighting. Maybe it's combat bow. So you're going hand to hand, so what is a bow staff master? You're a bow staff master when you have those three things as a start. Knowledge, understanding, and ability. Put it in the right hand, go to the side of your body, and do that forward figure eight. I want you to be able to do this in all different planes of motions. What is a bow staff master? Bow staff master has strong hands and wrists and forearms like you do because you don't just keep it in one plane. You get 
out of your comfort zone, literally, and you challenge yourself in different ways. Put it into the other hand, to the left side, go to the front and the back. Again, that's just carving down and carving back. It's simple figure eight motion, front and back, stomach up and in, abs tight, drop your chin, breathe through the nose, Bow Staff Master is going to have good breath control. You have good breath control when you add breathing into your basic training. So make sure you don't neglect breathing and then you become a Bow Staff Master very quickly, much more quickly than you might expect when you do a little bit every single day. Now, from here, I want you to take it straight up over your head. I'm gonna to have to back up, I think, now let's just tilt the camera because I just want you to see that my hand is simply turning away, coming in, pinky to pinky, turning away. And again, I want you to get out of your comfort zone into a new plane, build strength in the shoulders. You're going to do this for at least 30 seconds. What is a bow staff master? A bow staff master can move the staff through all planes of motion to the front of the body, to the back of the body, above the body, and then crossing through the center line, working in that transverse plane. So what is a bow staff master? You're a bow staff master when you master the basics in all these different planes above the head and behind the back. And speaking of behind the back, drop it down. And you're gonna turn your thumb up behind your back. I'm gonna drop the camera so you can see that. From here, thumb up. The other hand takes it and brings it out. So you're going to go behind the back. Other hand takes it and brings it out. Put it behind the back. And again, both thumbs are up. Go through this plane of motion. Slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. What is a bow staff master? Bow staff master understands slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. So you're a bow staff master when you allow yourself to go slowly at first, to be bad at it at first, to pick up knowledge, understanding, and ability. If you can't do it, it doesn't matter. You can know all of there is to know. And you'll meet a lot of people like that in your life. People who just know everything, but do nothing. And all of that knowledge is wasted because it never turns into understanding. Understanding comes from action. Action turns into ability, skill, and then finally, the fourth thing that you need to be a bow staff master at the basic level, and this is why I know you're a bow staff master, you have knowledge, you have understanding, you have skill and ability, and then finally, experience. You go out into the world and you carry your bow. And I'm not saying you have to get into a fight with somebody on the street, but you practice it in a way that you can use it for self-defense. Like Morgan from The Walking Dead, right? You stand behind your bow, you point the thumb, and you simply thrust. Strike with the back end, bring this down over the top. This is what I want you to practice in this workout today. We've warmed everything up for you to be a bow staff master. You now have to learn some basic strikes. Stand behind your staff. This is my left hand. My body becomes a smaller target when I step back. Point your thumb and try this first thrusting motion, bringing it in and through for self-defense. Straight through the middle line of their body. Go for nose, mouth, eyes, throat, midsection, into that solar plexus, maybe a little bit lower. Stand behind it, point, thrust. So what is a bow staff master? Bow staff master is not just about spinning. Why do you spin? It's to warm up, it's to build strength, speed, proprioception, timing, distance. It's like a boxer jumping rope. Why do you uh, spin? It's part of the training, but it's not the self-defense. Self-defense, you start in a stopped position. You're a ready position. You're ready, you point. That creates distance between you and the threat. This is all things you have to know to be a bow staff master. Then you have to understand that they have to get around the length of my staff in order to touch my body. I'm not gonna let that happen. I'm now gonna thrust going in and turn. So I want you to practice. Point the thumb, thrust. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> Get that body into motion. Take action on your goals and dreams, right? Do something about it. 
Become a master of the bow staff. Learn how to answer that question yourself. What is a master of the bow staff? You say it's right here. It's knowledge, understanding. And then you have to get the uh, skill and the ability through action. And finally, experience, application. You have to apply it. And then you apply it, that becomes experience. You become a true bow master yourself. A bow staff master, stand behind it, point, thrust, second motion, punch. This back hand comes straight through, smashing across the face, the temple, the neck, into the arm, into the ribs, into the hips, into the leg for self-defense. One, two. It's just like Morgan fighting with the bow staff in, more, in The Walking Dead, right? From here, one, two, and then bring this down on top. Think about this big piece of hickory smashing right through the top of the head. Now you ask me, what's the diameter of this hickory bow? It's one inch. What is it finished with? It's finished with, uh, it's soaked in a, 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 he won't tell me what it is. It's their um, patented process, I'm not gonna ask. But it's soaked in oil and a polymer for several days and then it's just butter smooth. And this one made in hickory. This is the Quantum Protector Self-Defense Staff. This thing is made for fighting. Check the link below if you wanna see what it is for self-defense. From here, practice one, two, three. Start over. One, two, three. Then change your hand position. Bow Staff Master, you have to know how to fight without dropping it, taking it out of your hand. So practice this motion. It's one more thing for you to apply. What is a bow staff master? A bow staff master is somebody who understands the basics, knowledge, understanding, and then you have to apply it. If you don't practice, 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 you don't build the ability. The ability is so important. I can't stress this enough because you run into a master from here and up, right? From the neck up, a teacher from the neck up. You don't ever want to study martial arts, self-defense, anything from a teacher from the neck up. I've met them. From the neck up, they've got, they know everything. From here down, they know nothing. They can do nothing, right? They don't have that application. It's all theory. Don't be a theorist, right? Be a practitioner. Be a master. Master of the bow staff is somebody who gets this knowledge and then understands it a little bit. Don't try to understand it before you do it. But then you do it, do it, do it, do it. Take action, action, action. 80, 90% of the time, you should be in motion. 10% of the time, read, watch videos, think. But the rest of the time, move. Your body's going to figure it out so much faster. From this position, point the thumb, thrust. Backhand, strike over the top, bring it out, and change hand positions. Wait for it. Thrust, punch, strike. Change hand positions. One, two, three. Striking down, bring it in. One, two, three. Switch. I just lost it, so I've got more practice to do, right? One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. And I'm in this position. Now, another strike I want you to practice is from your shoulder in. From your shoulder, and think about going through the temple for self-defense. From here, strike, strike. Strike, strike, thrust. There's so many things that you're going to learn when you become a bow staff master but the point is, if you don't practice them, none of them will matter. You'll never be a master. You'll be a phony. You'll be a fake because it just lives in here. I know that's not you. You're a bow staff master because you train with me all the time. Thrust, punch, and I'll tell you a secret. For a lot of you who train with me, whether you've joined here or you do it without becoming a uh, paying member, it doesn't matter. You know and you do and you practice, you understand more than most people who I've ever met with a bow staff. Even other instructors, right? Oh, uh, thank you, Wade, really appreciate that. Yeah, Wade said you, uh, he learned a lot through practice. Practice, practice, practice. More than reading, more than thinking, more than trying to acquire knowledge, acquire skill. So your skill level is higher, yours. When you practice with me with a bow staff, you're a bow staff master, more so, than a lot of the people that I've run into with the bow. Not everybody, there are a lot of people better than me. I'll always say that. I have a lot to learn from other people. However, I have practiced a lot, a lot, a lot, and I know you have too. And that's what makes you a bow staff master. 
it's not some silly belt, some uh, level of stripes on your belt. And yeah, we all do that in this industry because that's how we, we, we grew up doing it. So we do it like that. And that makes sense to the people coming in. Okay, yeah, uh, he's a master because of the whatever. That's not what makes you a master. Knowledge makes you a master, but, that, but just this much. Understanding. Imagine if you're building a foundation, right? A pyramid. You have to have a wide knowledge base. Understanding's next. But then to get that true height, you practice again and again and again. And you do, the, you do these basic motions. You warm up the same way over and over. That's not because there's not another better way to warm up. That's because every time you're doing this, every single day, and then you start to bring it out, and you can modify that, and then you start to do your freestyle, and you bring it behind your back, and whip it out over your head. You start doing all these things, then you're challenging yourself, you're growing, and then that goes higher, the pyramid of knowledge, of understanding, goes higher, but it comes to a point. That's the mastery level, and at the top of that point, it's all built on a foundation of action and motion. But your body, your brain, starts to understand a little bit better, a little bit better. You'll do something. All of a sudden, you'll hit yourself in the back of the head, and you'll think, what am I missing? What am I doing wrong here? Why am I hitting myself? And then you'll find the answer for it. You will find it. You don't have to go back to the master and say, master, why am I smacking myself in the head? You become your own master. And you're like, oh, I'm hitting myself in the head because I'm making this mistake, whatever the mistake is. But that's where true mastery comes from. It comes from experience and knowledge, application. Application turns into the experience. That's what makes a master. So what I want you to do, I want you to practice. Thrust from your shoulder, strike. Punch here, thrust. Strike down on top, bring it under this arm, or strike down on top, bring it under this arm. They're just two, they're, they're two techniques, really. There's one here, and there's one here. One's not necessarily better than the other. Depends on what technique you're doing next. You'll see this figure eight motion, or figure four strike. That's very popular. I saw um, in one of the episodes, Morgan, from The Walking Dead, he's working with his instructor. I can't remember the guy's name, the Aikido guy, and he's teaching them this one. That's just one, one way to do it. This way can also come down here. You can use this as a sweeping or blocking motion in front of the body, bring it out. But what I want you really to learn how to do is this, hand walking, changing. So from here, Whatever your thrusting combination is, and make up your own. You're the master. From here, thrust, punch, strike, but then bring it out and switch in this way. Thrust, strike, strike, and switch in this way. So do that. Practice changing the hand position, and then finish with this motion. Starting here, roll it, and bring it to a stop. And this is to build power. Fuerte, right? Lots of strength, lots of power in your wrists, in your forearms. This staff is so buttery smooth, I'm having a hard time keeping it in my hands. It's also strong and heavy. There we go. But that's what you have to practice every day. And the funny thing is, when you become a bow staff master, which you're either a bow staff master now because you have learned, understood, applied and practiced, and then got that knowledge or that experience, or you're well on your way. You're well on your way because you're taking action all the time. And if it's not every single day, it's every other day. It's when you can. Maybe it's two or three times a day, like I do sometimes. But it doesn't matter. Becoming a bow staff matter, or master, becoming a bow staff master is consistency, not perfection. If you miss a day, don't beat yourself up. If you miss a week because you take a family vacation, don't get all poopy pants. Just grab your bow and start going again. You'll become a bow staff master with daily practice, weekly practice with consistency. So bring this around, bring it to a stop. Push it, and all you're really doing is a wrist roll. Going over the back of the hand in one way, back of the hand the other way. You have to go, good, David, David says, oh, you've been doing it all the time, long way to become a master. But think about this, David, I agree. Um, humility is very important, but understand the difference between a master in some esoteric, uh, religious almost concept. That's not what I'm talking about. 
like, oh, master, master, like he's the boss, right? That's not what I'm talking about. Or master, like he's better than me. That's not what I'm talking about. Or I'm better than you. I'm certainly not better than you. Master painter, master plumber, master carpenter. Think in those terms, master artist. You're a master craftsman and this is your craft. When you learn the basics and then you understand the basics in a way that you can then start to teach others and then you practice the basics over and over and over so that you develop skill, muscle memory, strength, speed, balance, coordination, flexibility, all comes from practice. That's mastery of the basic level. And then you apply it. You apply it by getting in your fighting position, strike hard, strike hard, strike hard. Practice hard, fast strikes. Learn how it feels when you're defending yourself, right? Don't always go so slowly. Don't always be so reserved. Don't try to be pretty, pretty and perfect and, and uh, I don't know the word, dainty doily, something like that. Get, get sweaty, get dirty, get some bruises, get some cuts, smack your head. That gives you that understanding at a higher level, a mastery level. So David, that's what I'm talking about. Everybody else, I'm not talking about a master of master, oh, master, master. Because people understand, uh, misunderstand that all the time coming to martial arts. Well, I'm not gonna bow to the master. I'm not asking you to bow to me. The master, that's just like a courtesy like shaking my hand. That's the bow's not uh, putting yourself lower than the other person. Don't misunderstand it. It's a handshake. It's just a cultural thing. You don't want to bow, it's fine. But don't think that I'm saying master because I'm up here and you're down here. Or you're master and you're up here and someone else is down here. That's not what it is. You've earned that knowledge. You studied it. You understood it. You practiced, practiced, practiced for three years, David. And then you apply it. Maybe you need to go a little bit faster. And then, under, and then start teaching somebody else. Grab somebody from the neighborhood. Teach, hey, uh, or someone says to you, I'd like to learn that. Say, come, come by the house. I'll show you. Uh, bring a broomstick. I'll show you how to make your own bow staff. Cut the end off. But start on to understand the master of the basics. What is a bow staff master? It's not some guy who can levitate and move things with his brain. That's just ridiculousness. It's not some woman who has some magical powers. A master of the bow staff. Knowledge, understanding, practice, practice, practice. Develop that skill and ability. And then finally apply it yeah uh, matthew says learning involves black and blue i always say blood sweat and tears and when i say blood sweat and tears i'm not joking i'm not using a metaphor it's not just a way of speaking i'm talking about blood sweat and tears and bruises for real and that's what makes you a master of the basics but just the same way that if you were going to build in your house some beautiful molding for this house or a beautiful piece of furniture You'd go to a master furniture builder and say, this is my idea. And he'd sketch it out real fast or she'd sketch it out. And then you'd come back a week later and this amazing thing is there because they have all that knowledge and understanding and they have the tools and they know how to use them and they know how and they've done it over and over and made all the mistakes. You've done that. That's what makes you a bow staff master. Not some fancy title, some fancy belt, some fancy suit. None of that matters. All that matters is what's in here, right? What's in, what's in here? What's in your arms and your hands? And what's in the bow, this staff becomes an extension of your body and you're able to do that. And then think about what levels are there of mastery. There's a basic level and that's really what we're talking about. And then higher levels, learn how to be a basic level master. That's enough. That's good. That's, that's a lot of skill. That's a lot of uh, knowledge and understanding. That's a lot of application and that's a lot that you can teach to somebody else. That's a gift that you have, that you can then pass on. I learned it from everybody else and I'm passing it on to you. And hopefully you pick it up, you take what you need, you add to it too. When you become a bow staff master, you come up with your own moves. You come up with your own understanding that makes sense to you, which is different than me. We're all different. And that's what makes it such a beautiful thing. Martial arts, this global dojo, this virtual dojo that you and I belong to right here, that it's made up of all of our understanding. And I know I haven't uh, replied to a lot of the comments in the chat, but I'm just trying to get this one done because I have a short window again today. But you guys have been so awesome. Please, 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 please share this, subscribe if you haven't already, and put in the comments what you have discovered about yourself, what you've learned about the staff, what you understand about the staff, what makes you a bow staff master. I know my answer, and I believe it to my core. And I believe this, I believe you are a bow master 
from the beginning, from the, the time we started this. And I know if you put in the time, daily consistent practice of these basic moves, and I've got a bunch of videos on here where you can go back and you can learn all the basic moves and then you can do them over and over again. I know you're a bow staff master. I know you have the same skill and ability, but we're just on, we're on different traje trajectories. We're on the same path though. We're all moving toward the same direction, but I started before you. So I started back here, so I'm up here. You started here, you're here. Eventually you're gonna pass me. And that's the great thing about martial arts too. Anything I can do, you can do. When I see someone like Bruce Lee or anybody else, instead of saying, oh, master, master, they're so good, I can never, I never think that. <laughs> I think if he can do it, I can do it. And I know if I can do it, you can do it. So what is a bow staff master? This is the last thing I'm gonna say. You're a bow staff master when you master the basics. Four things, knowledge, understanding, exp or not experience, but uh, ability, always skill and ability. Knowledge, experience, skill and ability, knowledge, understanding, skill and ability, and finally, experience. Now that's the first four. There's a few after that when you get to a higher level of mastery, but to be a basic master, master the basics, you need those four things, knowledge, understanding, ability, and finally experience. Application, 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 and then you'll feel it. And you have, but you have to give yourself credit too. You have to start acting like it and you'll become one of them. Uh, thanks, John. I really appreciate it. John, I'd love to uh, do some Aikido with you sometime. That's one of my most favorite martial arts too. I'll see you guys in just a little bit.